Hello guys on YouTube. How are you guys today? Well today we got a little bit of fun project for all you guys who want to test out the light bulbs. If you have different light bulbs at home and you want to actually test out the amperage and the wattage of each bulb. But today what we're going to be doing is testing out the old school uh, filament 60 watt uh, light bulb and see how many amps it draws and how many watt it draws as well. Uh, this is just, you know, a very old school piece of technology. I love the old incandescents because the not as harmful is the crappy ass CFL bulbs. This is a 13 watt uh, bulb here. Now I got news for you, I can tell you one thing. These things are absolutely rubbish, uh, garbage as well. They do not last like the government say they do. Because by flipping them on and off constantly, hanging them upside down, hanging them sideways, we'll actually put more oil and tail on the CFL bulbs. Now the CFL bulbs have one ingredient inside of these as a deadly uh, mercury poison in these uh, bulbs. Be very careful not to drop one of these CFL bulbs on your floor. Now the other thing we're going to be testing out is this uh, very nice uh, LD uh, mercury free bulb. It's by 3M. It's only a 13.5 watts with 11 amps. Now it is a little bit shaped funny. It's more of a globe style. It's kind of cool. And I got to show you this bulb is a lot more heavier than the uh, Owen uh, CFL or the old uh, incandescent light bulb. Now, a couple of things you're going to need is a, a lamp to test out the bulbs themselves, and we're going to need a test tool. I picked this uh, down up at Lowe's or Home Depot. You can get these uh, little test tools anywhere. You want to look now? Let me see if I can get in focus for you guys. It's a uh, test tool, it has a, a watt and amp switch on the top, so I can switch it to wattage and amperage. Now, the one flaw with this cord is because it's a very small cord, it only has like about a three inch uh, cord, it means I don't know if you guys can see that display when I show it up to the uh, camera. It may have a hard time picking up the actual numbers on the display itself. Of course, you're going to need a power source. Of course, a GFCI outlet or just a standard extension cord will work just fine. Now, this is a polarized uh, plug. You know, can't uh, plug in both ways. Can only plug it in one way. That would be just your standard lamp cord uh, cable. And first of all, we're going to go ahead and plug the screw and the 60 watt light bulb itself and see on how many watts and amp its actual pools. And see why the government wants to get rid of the poor designed uh, incandescent bulbs themselves. It's kind of very interesting to me to see why we need to go from the older incandescents to these new crappy. Uh, CFL bulbs. I don't get it. But that's the government for you guys. The government's what's doing it. Not the people, the government. Just to let you guys know. Uh, this is a cool orient. Very small, very compact, and very lightweight. Now, this is only designed for small electronics, not for big old electronics as well. And we'll just put this uh, little guy in the plug on the end of the needle itself and I want to make sure I actually have this the correct way the last time I actually had it the wrong way. None of you guys can actually see this. I'm going to try to hold this as best I can for you guys so you can actually see what I see on the display itself. Make sure we don't blow anything out. Alright now, can you guys see that? It's pulling about 5 amps, right? That's what the incandescent light bulb is pulling. Now, let's go ahead and switch to amps. The amp is actual cut. It's pulling only 60 amps, and that's what it's supposed to be pulling. And that's what's fun about these little test needles. Well, you guys can test it out yourself. 
very interesting. I don't know if you guys really can see it. I am so sorry about the poorly angled shot here. Oh yeah, yeah, you guys can see that. That's what it's point. And we'll just uh, turn that off. And we'll switch it back to ants. Uh, pull the shade off. The reason I have the shade on my lamp is make sure I don't get any uh, reflection of the light in the uh, camera itself. Now we unscrew the old Edison light bulb. This is pulling the exact amount of wattage it should be pulling on 60 watts versus most of these crappy CFL bulbs will pull more than 13 uh, watts and also more amps as well because they have a stinking ass ballast inside of it to control the mercury gas in the bulb itself. Now, they are not that safe. Trust me, I broke a couple of them before and I was not happy with the Koi Koo bulbs. I like the old old school uh, light bulbs and I think the actual work a lot better. Now, I am sorry because this thing is so freaking uh, sh uh, short. I don't know if I can get any good angle of uh, this when I click it on. Now, it is uh, drawing about 4 amps. That's what I'm seeing on the display itself. And let's flip it to the wattage. Now, the watch is supposed to be a 13 watt. It's not pulling that. I can see it on the, the screen now. It's pulling 15 watts or 50 watts actually uh, for this. Uh, one uh, CFL disgusting bulb. Not very happy with that. Really? Are you guys that goofy? Seriously? Oh, wait. That's just absolutely insane, guys. It's supposed to be a 13 watt bulb, right? And it's not pulling 13 watts. It's pulling 50 watt uh, wattage for this bulb to actually light up. What the heck's going on with that? That's absolutely crazy. It's only pulling uh, four amps, but it's pulling more wattage to make it work. I don't know. And the last one we're going to be testing is this guy right here is the LD uh, light. This is one of my favorite newest light. This is actually a soft white. The almost about the exact same is the uh, incandescent, but it's close, but not close enough for government work, you guys. But if you really want to stock up, get uh, the old school uh, bulbs, the old uh, uh, incandescent bulbs, and you guys will be totally fine. You won't have to spend all this uh, bull crap money on these uh, energy saving type of bulbs when they're really not energy saving. And that's why I bought this little tester in the sea what we're actually pulling on the wattage and amps of each different light bulb. Very fun project for all you guys, a very safe project. But you can test all your, your light bulbs if you want to see what they're actually doing. Let's see, maybe if I guys can I get you in a closer shot now. This is the soft rate. Uh, it's only pulling less than an amp, only one amp uh, for the soft light bulb. And we'll uh, the switch it. And it's the point uh, about 16 watts. That ain't bad for this uh, LED bulb. Oh my god. This thing is very hard to show you. But there you go, guys. That is the uh, LED light. I actually like it. It is very bright, and it's actually making everything kind of dark because of me having it on a little bit. But if you want, I would definitely test out uh, your lights and see which one would be better for you guys. Which one would you prefer? Uh, do you prefer the uh, old school bulb or the new crap bulb, the crappy poisonous CFL bulb? I don't recommend buying these. These are absolutely junk. The biggest problem is you can't just toss these in your little trash because they have no clean them. Or do you guys for one of these ones? You guys uh, choose which bulb you want to use. I honestly would like to stick with these, but again, I mean, not any savings, but they give you the light we are used to using 
for a very long time. Do not buy the mercury light bulbs, they're absolutely worth, not the money, they're absolutely crap. And if you want, you can spend a little bit extra more money on your LEDs. Now, I can tell you a secret here. The incandescents are a whole lot cheaper. Uh, these guys here, the incandescents, are a whole lot cheaper than the uh, CFLs or the LED bulbs. But if you actually have the extra money to actually go buy the LED bulbs, you want to switch out, that's totally fine. This is totally 100% safe for anybody who can do all this kind of stuff to test out the wattage and bulbs with a watt tester and the amp tester. Alright guys, uh, this is about the end of this vlog. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. If you guys are going into this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below because I want to know what your favorite type of old school style light bulb or do you guys like the old crappy uh, poisonous mercury bulbs themselves. Uh, please like, please share, peace out. Bye guys. I hopefully see you in the next vlog. Bye.